Hey, Donnie Walker. So uh, someone was asking me about how I modified the 562 mufflers, 550s, and the 572s. They're all really the same. They're really um, baffled inside. They're really baffled. So the, the exhaust has got to go into these sides of these tubes and go up through these tubes and then come out of the outlet here. This one I've cut the top off, as you can see with the stock one. So then I take my torch and I put it on a real hot, fine setting with my fine tip and I cut all this stuff out of here in the front and back here where it comes out of the exhaust port. So then you get a fairly good straight shoot down to the new opening that I do. Then I weld a cap like off a 288, the same one as I use on the 372s, 3, 390s, 395s and lots of other ones before the bark boxes came around. Bark boxes only fit on stills though. So I weld this cap on here, slide the stock screen back in so it's all forestry safe, and then bolt it onto the saw. We're probably getting about 0.5 to 0.6 of a horsepower gain with that. That's what I seen on my dyno years ago, the way I did the mufflers. On the 372s and 390s, here's a standard one. I take a uni bit, I cut hole on each side with a 7 8 hole. Then I weld the 288 caps. I braze them on. I don't big weld or take weld. I don't know how to do that very good, but brazing's always worked for me, and I've done absolutely thousands of mufflers. Everyone on the coast has, has mufflers like this. Weld a cap here, cap on this side. Then I slide screens in for forestry safe. If you don't have to have that, you don't have to have the screen, but most people do um, here on the coast. Also, some popular mufflers here. I'll show you a bark box of, for the 881. This is the first one I put on an 881. The 881, uh, if you look in the muffler here, it's quite confined. The exhaust comes out, and this is a big displacement engine. Goes through this screen here, up this tube, then out through this little tiny outlet there. It's about the size of my thumb. Gordy from West Coast Saws built these uh, bark boxes. This is the 881 one. Here's the size of the opening with the screen. It's just a simple bolt on. Take your full bolt, four bolts off, lock tight them, and put it on. Other mufflers I do, I'll show you over here, are the. Here's a couple, there's one on a 372 that's done up for a friend of mine. It's got the screens in it. Uh, here's a 550 done. This is a custom 550 I've done with uh, some full wrap handlebars and I'm just building some dogs for it. A friend of mine runs these 550 Mark IIs with a uh, 28 inch bar with low pro 3 8 chain for chunking down big trees in uh, the old, in the big uh, red cedars here and big firs. Another type of way I've done mufflers for years is the two, two pipe system. This is the most favor, favorite of any logger on the West Coast. Um, I don't think they start fires, what people think, because uh, a lot of times when you have carbon on spark arresters, the carbon will flake off and come out and little shots of, of, of fire come off. Most of my followers, I don't think, I know any guys that maybe they started a little fire with it, but they got their, their stuff and put it out right away. So anyways, yeah, this is a little 261, real favorite uh, for a lot of my customers these days and people out there. And that there is probably giving it probably at least a half horsepower gain too. These things are sweet little saws. They're, these two saws are kind of the same size, 550, 261, your 50cc range. I prefer this one over that one, but this one is darn good too. They're, it's, Apple and oranges, Ford and Chevy. Some people like Dodges. I own one. Oh, Chevy. Sam likes Chevys. What do you like, Mike? Oh, you got a Toyota. I got a Toyota. Yeah, yeah, I like good. my Toyota. So anyways, that's the, just with the mufflers. So those, uh, they were quite confined, those uh, 500 C series Husky ones, but that's what I do. Cut them out with a torch, weld that cap on. I see the guys doing it all certain different ways with pipes and stuff, but there really isn't much room for pipes on these. If you look at, if you look at the, the saw here there's not much room here to put one you could put one here but on this side now you're going to melt melt your chain break which you have to have so i do it this way works for me if you want it done another way go right ahead so hey check out the walkersawshop.com online store 
keep your saw on the wood, stick it on the ice. Have a great day.